Hey everybody, I got a video here for you today. Now one of the goals of my channel is to bring you videos from every ancient site in Egypt and it's getting a little harder to find sites I haven't talked about, but I was reminded today of a website article that I'm going to share in a second of a place I have not talked about. This is called the Bahariya Oasis and it's about 175 miles west and to the south of Giza. And I will leave the coordinates for this place if you want to uh, do some snooping around here. There is a lot of stuff under the sand, I believe, here. I just wanted to zoom in and show you a couple things here. This is called Pyramid Mount, and this is what it looks like here. It is not an ancient pyramid, but I'm sure it represented a pyramid to the ancient Egyptian people, and the history here could go back much farther than what we have discovered and kind of the proof of that is kind of what just has been discovered in the last 20 years here but once again I'm going to leave the coordinates if any of you are curious about this site and want to look around but a lot of other stuff has been found this right here is the tomb of Amenhotep Hui, who was a governor of the northern uh, district of Egypt, I believe in the uh, eight of the famous 18th dynasty, and that's what his tomb looks like. And once again, I think the sand here has covered up a whole bunch of ancient ruins. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second here. But up in this area, we have a temple to Alexander the Great and the city is just kind of built around it here I believe it is right up in this area and just down here we have some more ancient ruins and sometimes it's kind of tough to tell what are ancient ruins and what are maybe hundred year old ruins that have just been kind of uh, that have fallen apart but I think I've got a good enough eye where I can show you these and pretty pretty sure that these are ancient ruins that's just what they look like here but once again I'm not gonna zoom all around this area and show you stuff but I will leave the location for this below and once again um, the article that I'm gonna share that I found on ancient origins talks about uh, the Roman era and what was found in this area but I think the uh, true history of this place or antiquity of this place is unknown since what we have just found in the last 20 years only dates back to the Roman period pretty much and I'm going to talk about that but um, this red line here I'm just trying to remember what that is oh uh, this is Napta Playa out here at the end of this red line I know some of you have seen my video on Napta Playa but it is not very far away from here I believe it's right in this area here but I'm going to jump over to a couple websites here and this is Ancient Origins and this is an article that came out today I believe but this says there's Ancient Origins it says Valley of the Golden Mummies and a wealth of knowledge about our ancient past and it says in 1996 an astonishing discovery was made in Egypt archaeologists uncovered a two square mile necropolis that contained a number of important tombs and when you have a site that large with uh, that many, and it says there might be up to 10,000 mummies laying in that cemetery, I think the antiquity of this goes back much farther than people such as uh, Zahi Awas here, the little dictator, says. And I'm just going to leave the article for, or the link for this article below in case you want to read. But I guess some of the people excavating this uh, tomb of the golden mummies were kind of freaked out by how lifelike these eyes look that were painted on the golden uh, sarcophagus here but it's pretty cool find here are some more pictures of it and once again this article talks about the Roman period about 2300 years ago but this is uh, tour Egypt and I'll leave the link for this article they talk about it also here but this is crystal links and it talks about the discovery and Mr. Hawass 
and it says it all began in 1996 when an antiquities guard was riding a, his donkey in the Bahariya oasis. The donkey's legs stumbled in a hole, revealing an opening in the ground. Soon, teams of archaeologists, architects, restorators, cons conservators, and engineers began what would be the largest expedition ever done in Egypt that continues to this day. And, you know, we just hope we get the full truth of what was found out here. But this is what was found underground. And this is fairly similar to the uh, Valley of the Kings and how they made their tombs with these little uh, corridors and passageways. And I just wanted to share some of the pictures. And I can blow this up a little. Just share some of the pictures of what was found here. This looks really old. But that tomb of Amenhotep Hoy, he comes from the 18th dynasty, the famous 18th dynasty. And it goes back much farther than the Roman period. And if just now we are discovering, just going back to the Roman period, it makes you wonder what's deeper in the ground and possibly goes back further as the ancient Egyptians built, seem to built a lot of their more important sites on sacred sites that the real true date of it is unknown as far as how far back in antiquity it goes. But here you see some of the images from the tombs. This isn't real clear, but you get an idea of the extravagant artwork here and the time and effort put into the tombs. And here's a classic scene with uh, Toth and Anubis and Sobek, the crocodile god and it says Anubis who is portrayed on the mummies played an important role in several ways first in his well-attested role in the judgment scene it is he who operates the scale on which the heart is weighed against the feather second is his performance of the embalming a classic condition for rebirth Anubis protects the body of the deceased and assists and assists in its revival. Therefore, we find Anubis in representations on coffins and mummies masked performing mummification rites. And I've talked enough about Anubis, but here is just some more things that were found here. And the Valley of the Golden Mummies is a pretty unique site in ancient Egypt, but obviously with a necropolis of maybe 10,000 mummies, I think we are looking at a much older site, and you're not going to hear it from Dr. Zahi Uwas uh, if it goes back much farther than Egyptology recognizes. Here you see a picture of the Bahariya Oasis, but I'm going to leave this link below. This is a pretty fascinating article. It talks about many people uh, or many pharaohs being recognized here, including Shoshank IV and Shoshank the first who was one of the few pharaohs actually mentioned in the Bible here you get a map but once again I will leave a link for these websites below this is a fascinating site it's not very well known as far as famous sites compared to Giza and Luxor but here is where it is located not far from the extremely ancient site of Napta Playa I'll leave a link for that video below but hope you thought this was interesting. You yeah, have a nice day.